for with protecting national parks and wilderness areas. David Crow. Well, we'll David and John. Um, hey, I just wanted to say that I just am thrilled with everything that the Trump administration is doing. <laughs> And, uh, and I love the fact that the Obamacare discussion we had earlier. But uh, also, uh, I'd love to see that the, the corporate tax be cut to 15 to 20, you know, 15 to 20 percent. Where do you think that that's, when is that going to occur? Like the middle of the year or that part of the year? Appreciate the question, uh, David. Uh, tax reform is super important. Our tax code is mindlessly complex. 70,000 pages, and everybody today, I hope, is take care of business and got their tax preparation completed because we're at, we're at D Day. So, my personal goals for tax reform out of this Congress for our families are, for gosh sakes, simplification. Um, I know people have talked about lowering all the rates for our families, but, and, and that would be fine. I would certainly support collapsing the number of rates and lower the number of rates, which President Trump talked about during the campaign. But I'll tell you, the complication of trying to comply with our tax system is why one of the first bills that I co-sponsored when I went to the House two years ago was to abolish the tax code and start over completely. <laughs> But you asked specifically about corporate taxes. And in the U.S., it is important because even though we're all focused on what we pay personally, and that's key, when it comes to growing this economy faster, we need to be mindful of making sure that our companies, both our small businesses and our big corporations, have a competitive advantage over country, country, uh, companies in other countries. And our corporate tax rate is the highest in the developed world. And both Democrats and Republicans would like to see it reform to spur economic growth. And so the key for President Trump is to work with our senators in the U.S. Senate, work with our House, and find a way to make America's tax system less complex, simpler for all of us and our families, but more competitive for corporations and small businesses. What Chris says about the corporate code, it's very true, it's the highest tax rate in the industrialized world. But what he says about the individual code is important as well. Now, the lady earlier talked about businesses that have two to five employees. We have a lot of those in Arkansas. Two thirds of all new jobs in Arkansas, by some estimates, are created by people who don't pay a corporate tax, but they pay the individual income tax through their business that they own or hold in partnership with someone. And that's what all of you pay. That's what all of you probably are struggling with right now. Some of you are still trying to finish up for tomorrow. So I think it's important that we address our individual tax code as well, and maybe even look beyond that. Try to give some relief to working folks who pay six point, uh, or pay 7.65 FICA taxes on the very first dollar they earn. Or maybe the seniors in their 60s who are still paying FICA, even though that additional payroll tax doesn't go into their Social Security benefits. So I think it's important that we look broadly at all the federal taxes that hit businesses and families in our communities.